I think this is much better. Welcome back. <laughs> I've been saying for a while that we definitely needed more space and this is evidence of that. Uh, we barely got the things that were in the garage previously in our little one car garage in the same garage. We have everything in here and as you can see there's still stuff on the floor and uh, I'm still working on organizing that, but that's gonna be done off camera later on. But right now, we've got some very important things going on because we got a race car to finish. Last thing that we were working on was the front suspension. If you haven't seen that video, you should go and check that out right now. But no buts, meow. That's the law. Not so funny meow, is it? We have, down there in those boxes, some 500 horsepower insane shafts, uh, half shafts for our K swapped EG. K swapped EG is gonna need it. Definitely gonna need it. But, just one problem the, uh, the castle nut for the ball joint on the passenger side has basically become one with the lower control arm, and now it's stuck. So, we're gonna go get some uh, lower control arms and get it installed in the future, but right now we need to strip this thing down. All right, so we got the wheels off and it's floating in space now on both sides. Uh, quick recap, this is the bad side. Castle nut on this side is sucked up into the lower control arm. Funny thing is, is that gold washer should have been underneath. Now we know why. Uh, the only reason why I know that, because this side has the washer, but it's got the wrong freaking nut. So this is just a nylon lock nut. So, oh look. <laughs> I can't tell if that's spinning the whole thing or not, but I think it is. But yeah, so there's that. That needs to be... This side's gonna be redone, so we need control arms on both sides. Back here, things don't get any better. That's electrical tape. No! It's literally a random bolt and nut that just had some tape on it to keep it from spinning. No! But uh, yeah, so that's where we are for tonight. Um, tomorrow morning, we're going to run to the junkyard and we're going to go get front lower control arms and hopefully a rear disc set up for this. The next day. All right, so we're back and we've got a couple of parts for the car um, from the junkyard today. So just because of the state of unknown of everything, I mean, we still need to do wheel bearings and stuff like that front and rear. But what we did is we got lower control arms. We also got front calipers and the front uprights for the strut, just in case any of this is needed. Um, and then there's still a car out there that I know about that I can go and get some things from. The only thing I need that I know of is rear bolts for the lower control arms, but I'm pretty sure that those are nothing special. So um, the rear suspension kind of checked out. I did try to look for some 9401 Integra rear uh, discs and trailing arms and all of that, but Not finding what I want um, Integras are getting very rare to find uh, right now. We're gonna try and get we're gonna start on the passenger side because that's the worst um, We're gonna see what we can do to get this thing hammered out and uh, Hopefully save the hub so we don't have to go back and get that too. It's coming. 
kind of. Check this shit out. They cut a hole in the subframe because there's a captive nut in the subframe that is broken free of the welds. This is a problem. They ripped out the captive nut, so they just stuck another nut back there to hold it. And they cut the subframe to get in there and do this. So we'll probably have to pop this open a little bit more, weld it one in before we're all said and done. So this is probably the reason why they never fixed this arm is because they knew it had a captive nut on the control or on the the subframe side. So uh, yeah, we'll see if we can fix it. If not, then we'll get another subframe. We still are free yet. Jeez. Out of the woods. And I'll show you why. It's almost out of the car at least, so that's at least a good sign. Same problem we had earlier, by the way. That's how easy it was when you have a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the problem we see at hand is that the the nut has been become one with the lower control arm. You can also see now it's loose, which is good. So we're gonna beat on this to push it back up so we can take the nut off. Should be able to deck deck this off now. Just hold that right there. Keep that if you want. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out like if I could even just get this in here like that. Yeah. Yeah. We got the ball joints pressed out, or kicked out, pressed, bunked out, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my press is not going to be able to press out the, um, whatchamacallit, so I'm going to look into some of those ones that bite and like, um, but uh, that's going to have to be for another video because that's going to take some time. Uh, also, uh, I'm kind of wrapping up for the night. We got our new lower control arms sailing. We're gonna clean this up later. Uh, both sides are torn apart, ready to go. Uh, those are done. We're gonna, we'll come back to this very, very soon. I gotta order wheel bearings. I have to order upper and lower ball joints, and then we should be able to put it back together. So I'm gonna start figuring out what we gotta do to separate those and uh, check back in when we have an update. So I suppose for holding this one up, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one and uh, yeah. Stay tuned.